Welcome tool groupies to the Backwoods Mechanic channel. If you like tool reviews, how-to, do-it-yourself videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Matter of fact, ring the bell, hit the like button, and leave a comment throughout the video if you got something to say. Today's tool review, I got another Craftsman product here on the toolbox. So we're going to look at this. But before I get started, another reason I like Craftsman right now, I've been buying a lot of Craftsman right now, it's just because of sales. Whenever it comes down to it, we'll go ahead and do this part of the product review. It says made in China. Yes, it's made in China. I hate China. I would prefer Taiwan. I'd prefer German or I'd prefer American made above all else. But we all just can't spend a fortune on a whole bunch of tools. We need to buy tools to get the job done. That's by far the most important thing you can do because without tools, you can't do the work you need to do. So I really don't care what it is as long as it works. Now, Craftsman, Still got a good warranty, good lifetime warranty. Link will be in the description box below. You can also go to craftsman.com slash warranty, craftsman.com slash join if you want to join the club. Or you can call the number, link in the description box below to get all your lifetime warranty details. But the thing is about the Craftsman. Right now, I went to Lowe's and uh, I went to Sears, went to Ace Hardware, all that good stuff. Because I only had like three wrenches. I was missing three wrenches. I was missing an 11 sixteenths a 3 fourths and a 13 sixteenths all in the the 12 point of course i have you know six points and all that so i was like well i'll just go buy the replacements that i need but whenever it come down to it it was like 20 dollars and 18 dollars a wrench and lowe's just it was made more sense to go ahead and buy the set that they had at lowe's lowe's had a nice 3 8 set all the way up to 7 8 really nice little set for right around 35 36 dollars but the problem was it still did not give me everything I needed because I needed the 13 sixteenths. So if I added on that 20 some dollar wrench by itself, then it would have been right around 50 bucks. And the problem with that was Sears. They had this 26 piece set for $50. So for $50, I could just go ahead and get this entire set just for the few wrenches that I needed and it takes care of all the rest. I'll have some extras. I'll have some spares. This is normally a $100 box, 26 piece, and they're on sale right now for $50 at Sears. I got mine at my local Sears hometown country store. And also the great thing about this is, is all the wrenches you get. So we'll toss the box over here and look at it. First, you get the midget ignition set. All right, midget ignition wrenches. 5 30 seconds, 3 16, 13 60 fourths, 7 30 second, 15 60 fourths, 1 fourth, 9 30 second, 5 16 3 8 and 7 16 of an inch. You get all those as like a little bonus. But here's the bread and butter. You get 16 of these, 1 fourth inch all the way up to 1 and 1 8 inch. The 1 and 1 8 and the 1 and 1 16 is going to run you about 20 to 25 dollars a piece regardless where you buy them if you have to buy them individually. So right there alone, I just went ahead and got the whole box because it replaces what I need. So I'll only have a few of these that's going to go in my main set, which is still the American-made set, that are made from China. So no big deal there, and I'll have all these extras. Wonderful deal for 50 bucks. You really cannot beat that particular price when you get all of these combined. You get the midget ignition wrenches, and you get the long pattern inch combination wrenches, especially when you get them in those big sizes. Now, while we're back here, we'll go over the rest of it. All Craftsman combination wrenches are heat-treated, oil-quenched, and tempered to eliminate inner soft spots and to ensure uniform hardness. They do have the 12-point construction, which improves access, providing more points of engagement with fasteners. And the boxed-in side is designed with a 15-degree offset for clearing obstructions and protecting your knuckles from scraping. So... They're set up like most other wrenches that anybody's going to need. And you can set these side by side. Gear wrench is made in China also. Harbor Freight's made in China. You got uh, Husky and Cobalt and a bunch of these other things. At least Cobalt is still, for the most part, what's out there is still made in Taiwan. So, I mean, they're a little bit better. But for the price and everything you're getting, you just can't pass this set up for this kind of deal. As a matter of fact... Link in the description box below for the other two boxes, the nice mirror polished chrome set that I got just a few days ago. Link in the description box. Go check them out along with a few other products I've got down here reviewing. And of course, here's your Craftsman hand tool full lifetime warranty. They will provide complete satisfaction or they'll replace it free of charge. For warranty information, 
as I said, link below, go check it out. So, we'll go ahead and get started here. This is product number 9913. It is the inch set SAE 16 long pattern 10 midget ignition. 12 point open end strength boxed in access. There you go. Now, whenever you open the box up, it's going to look like this. Of course, right over here is going to be your midget ignition wrenches. And they're in their own little individual package if you want to check them out. Product number 42319, 10 piece set, 532nd to 716th. Made in China also, hand tool full warranty right there. And we've got our other boxes here. You crack them open, of course, it's going to be your smaller sets of wrenches. And then it goes all the way up to your bigger sets of wrenches. Now, of course, here's your little ignition wrenches. These are a nice little set to have because you really never know whenever you're going to run into something really tiny and you need something exact to get a hold of the fastener and hold on to it. Now, these are the mirror chrome finish, chrome vanadium steel. As you can see, the name of the product, the brand, the size, the product part number is stamped into each individual wrench. As you can see there on all of them, they do have the open-end design. These are not meant for torque. They're meant for job-specific style stuff, and they've got the 12-point design, so you can easily access them. They are nice and thick, so that you can put a little bit of pressure on them, but nothing like what you would the bigger style wrenches, the long-handled wrenches. And, of course, let's look at our small ones here. I'll give you the product part numbers in the description box below if you want to check those out. Now we'll move right on to our first little small box here. We'll go ahead and dump all these out here on the toolbox. And there is what we've got here in this first box. We've got our 11.30 seconds. Now this is what I call the dirty chrome finish, but it's also got like the mirror chrome finish on the outside because it's nice and smooth chrome plated. Of course, chrome vanadium steel. It's got the raised access point right there where they stamp the name in so it does not make the particular metal weaker anywhere in the middle of it like some products do. Of course, it's got the Craftsman name brand, the classic name brand logo there. The identification size is stamped on the open end and on the other side it will tell you the size it will give you the actual part number and that will lead you to the country of origin if you need to file a warranty so this is going to be our very first box which is giving us our one fourth all the way up to our five eighths as you can get a good look here it's nice and shiny the real good close-up here and I do not see very many imperfections in this particular set now the open end the boxed end which they have made nice and thick on the outside I'm sure to compensate for the weaker style metal they did grind that edge a little bit too far down right here. Now we'll see what we got in our next box. So in box number two, you will get your 13 sixteenths, 7 eighths, 15 sixteenths, 1 inch, 1 and 1 sixteenths, and 1 and 1 eighths inch. Now as I said, you can go to your local Lowe's or your local Ace Hardware, and this particular wrench alone is going to run you right around $25.00. For the one and one eighth inch and that's on the cheap side of things it could even run you 30 bucks in some cases the bigger you go the more expensive it's going to become and this is nice and long this is a pretty nice looking wrench it does look identical to the old ones with slight differences in it and whenever i went to go purchase the replacement wrenches, like I said, I was only missing like three of them. This being one of them. If I had to buy it by itself, it's going to screw me over. Now, if I was to have bought a set at Lowe's, the gunmetal chrome is a really nice set. They do got them for right around $50, but you only get from 3 eighths all the way up 
to seven eighths, I believe it was, in the gunmetal chrome, and it was going to cost me fifty dollars plus tax, and I wasn't going to get that much. Sure, they're nice; they're made of better quality steel. The boxed in is a little bit thicker, better looking design. However, I wouldn't have got nearly the wrenches that I got for the exact same price of 50 bucks. So I decided I was going to get more bang for my buck is why I picked this up from Sears Hometown Country Store. Now, all in all, these are a nice design. Very minimal imperfections at all. They will get the job done. If you are just a regular do-it-yourselfer, weekend warrior, or something like that. You want to you wanna buy something to somebody that's a beginner in the mechanic trade, fixing something. This is a great set to have. Even if you're a mechanic and you're in an independent shop, even if you're a professional mechanic, you want more bang for your buck, here you go, folks. I mean, no, it's not going to be snap-on. It's not going to be American-made steel, but it is going to give you a whole lot of actual product here for the price. Especially, like I said, if you're starting out or if you're a do-it-yourself or a homeowner, these things will probably last you forever. If you're somebody that works on ATVs, if you're somebody that works on uh, plumbing lines or appliances or just a mobile mechanic, some junkyard mechanic you like going to the junkyard stripping things down i'll tell you what this is going to be a really good set to have because it gives you everything you need all the way up to one and one eighth inch and that is something that you're going to pay a fortune for if you go to somewhere that's like lowe's or even if you could buy it in the husky name brand or in the cobalt name brand or cornwell or pittsburgh pro no matter what kind of name brand you throw out there right now and it's basically because sears has got really good deals because they're getting their craftsman products that they own out of the store, out of the warehouses. They're putting them out here for you all to buy, and they are competing, essentially, with Lowe's and with Ace Hardware. So that might be good for business, as far as I'm concerned, for us consumers, because it gives us a whole lot of products. Now let's test one of these out. All right, what I've got here is a fastener and a bolt inside my old school vise here, and it's a 15 16 and you will be able to look on the boxed inside of it right here. And you can see that it is a nice fit. It does give you a nice fit. Just as well as any other wrench does. Now we pull it off here and see what air. Open end design. It does hold good torque. Holds the fastener quite well. Now we will see what she does to our box in. We will tighten her up even more. There we go. Broke her right loose. Now you can tell a lot about a product, whether it's halfway decent Chinese steel or not. After you beat them, bang on them a little bit, or use them out once or twice, you'll see if it has any bite marks into it. Got out of focus there. Now you can see very minimum indentions in it. I said it's not going to be your your snap-on product but these are going to be a set of wrenches that will do the job that you need them to do for a really good price they'll get you started if you're a beginner if you're going to get something for somebody as a present as a gift to get them started in mechanic work you want something for around the house this is a perfect set to have at this moment in time i will try to put some links in the description box below for the sear stores that has these go check them out if you like seeing more product reviews if you like seeing how-to, do-it-yourself videos, all that good stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Leave me a comment below, hit the like, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Because whenever I hit 1,101 subscribers, I'm going to pick out some people. I'm going to pick out some products from this channel. I'm going to try to help somebody else out and do what I call hashtag wrench it forward. And I'm going to try to send somebody some products that I've reviewed on this channel to help some other person out here out. Whether it's a do-it-yourselfer, whether it's just your average, everyday American. I want to help you out, send you something, help this channel grow because I am not paid for this.
by anybody, endorsed by anybody, sponsored by anybody, but I would like to make this channel grow. So if you wouldn't mind, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think.